In this video, we'll be painting a Canoptech plasma site. Hello everyone, this is Jason from Fort Samer Gaming, and for this video, we are going to be painting this Necron Canoptech plasma site. It should be noted that this plasma site came with my Scorpec destroyers, which I painted previously. Anyways, looking forward to seeing how this turns out, so without further ado, let's get going. The first thing that I did prior to recording this video is prime the model using Lead Belcher Spray Paint. Next we're going to apply a coat of Lead Belcher from the pot to the model except for the back piece here, the large orb here, the smaller orb, and the stone part of this pillar. As with my previous Necron models, the reason that I'm applying Lead Belcher from the pot even though I already used the spray paint is because the pot Lead Belcher is a little bit brighter, a little bit shinier than the Lead Belcher from the spray paint. That being said, at a distance you won't notice too much of a difference, but I would still prefer to apply the Lead Belcher from the pot anyways. Now we're going to use Brass Scorpion to paint the back piece of the model here. And it's a little hard to see, but there's a couple tiny scarabs near the legs here, and we're going to paint the back of those scarabs. Next we're going to use Dawnstone on the stone part of this pillar. Next we're going to use Corax White to paint the large orb here, the smaller orb on the tail, the eye orb, and the orbs on the back of these tiny scarabs.
So in the next few steps, I'm going to be adding in some contrast, shade, and technical paints. However, before I do that, I just want to go over the model and make some quick touch-ups to any errors that I may have made. Okay, I think it looks a little bit cleaner now. Next, we're going to apply a mixture of 50% contrast medium and 50% black templar to these metal ruins here and then the inner circle next to the giant orb. Now I'm going to apply a coat of Nuln Oil to all the unpainted lead belcher areas. Next, we're going to apply Tesseract Glow to all the Corax white areas. Please note, before you use the Tesseract Glow, make sure to really shake the bottle so that the bottle looks like this uniform neon green color. For the next step, we're going to paint the base. And for that, we're going to use corn red on top of the base, including this dirt mound, Abbott in black for the side of the base, and then Martian iron crust on top of the corn red. Okay, so now that the Martian iron crust is on, we just have to wait about 18 to 24 hours for it to dry. Okay, the Martian iron crust has fully dried. Just a quick note, if you want a more pronounced 
ground cracking effect, then you want to add in a thick layer of the iron crust. If you want the ground cracking effect to be less pronounced, then add in a thinner layer of iron crust. Okay, so here's my completed Necron Canoptech Plasmacyte model, and personally, I think this model turned out well. Not really too much to say on it. However, I will admit that it's an unusually cute looking addition to my Necron army, and should look nice traveling with my more menacing looking Scorpec Destroyers, which I painted previously. Anyways, that's the end of my video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from Force Hammer Gaming, signing off.